What's going on guys? My name is Caleb Tracking Gas and this is Buffalo Creek Outdoors. On today's video, we're gonna continue on with the turkey series that we've got going on through March and April. And uh, with this one, we're gonna talk about patterning my Benelli M2 and what ammunition I'm gonna use this year for turkey season. Let's jump on into it. First morning, first morning. Got him, baby! Whoa! Yes, sir. All right guys, so a couple of weeks ago, I took my new uh, Benelli M2 20 gauge and I mounted my Burris Fast Fire 3 on top of it. Uh, the video's on the channel. If you haven't seen that video yet and you're interested in how to add an optic to your Benelli M2 without having to take it to a gunsmith, go check that video out. I'll have it linked into this one. With that being said, uh, now I have my optic mounted. I need to sight it in. I need to choose which choke tube I'm gonna use and uh, I'm gonna show you how I do that and how I go about doing it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what ammunition I'm gonna shoot. And this year I'm gonna be shooting the TSS number nines from um, Apex. Apex offers a military discount. That's why I kind of got turned on to Apex. Um, but then once I shot these and saw the difference in these versus a standard turkey load, uh, I was hooked. So I shot the small town blend one year, then I shot the apex one year, and now I'm shooting the standard number nines. Uh, so I actually shot the shotgun uh, a couple weeks ago, trying to test out choke tubes. I shot a um, true lock, the Penhody project, true lock 585. This gun did not like that choke. Um, at 50 yards, that pattern was nowhere near what I wanted. Um, for a turkey. So uh, I went back and forth on what I was going to shoot. I thought about getting an Indian Creek uh, and then I went ahead and just tried the factory full choke that came from Benelli and it patterned extraordinary. It patterned better with the Apex than it did the small town blend. The Apex is an eight and a half shot. Small town blend was a seven and a half mixed with nine. This current load that I'm going to try is going to be number nines, all number nines. Uh, and I'm gonna be shooting the factory full choke. This thing at 50 yards shot awesome, and at 20 yards, you better have it dead on his head. Uh, it is tight, tight. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, and what I recommend doing once you add an optic, or even when you're planning on trying to see where you're gonna sight it in, shoot some dove loads to begin with. I got the target set at like 15 yards. Shoot some dove loads to begin with, dial your sight in, get it close with that, and then shoot your turkey loads. So right now, like I said, I'm at 15 yards. We're gonna shoot these, see how it patterns, and uh, then we'll go from there. Once we get it kind of dialed in, I'll show you how I dial it in, and then we'll back up and see. First, we'll shoot one TSS here at 20, see if it's dead on. Then we'll back up to 50 and see how it shoots at 50. So let's go ahead and get some earplugs in, get some ammo in this gun, and get at it. All right, shot number one with dove load. All right, so that shot was slightly left. Uh, height wise was good. So on this Burris, I've got a right and left and an up and down adjustment. I'm just gonna use my knife blade. It's not gonna take much. All right, so that moved it slightly left. So I need to go counterclockwise to move left. All right, so moving my sight left should push my barrel to the right just slightly. 
to get it to line up. All right, so now second shot with dove load. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so that shot here is almost dead center. Like that is perfect. So uh, what I'm gonna do, instead of shooting a dove load for a third shot, I'm gonna go ahead and pump in a TSS shot number nine and give it a shot right here at 20 or 15 yards. <clears throat> All right, so with the, with the turkey loads, I'm just gonna load one at a time because after each shot, I'll be doing some checking. And we'll go ahead and get a second shot in. So this is gonna be first shot, number nines at 20 yards. Here we go. The difference in that is crazy. The difference in the kick from a dove load to a TSS is ridiculous. So what I'm gonna do, go up here, check this. From what I can see right here, it looks great. Uh, and then we'll move on back. So based on this, it looks slightly low uh, at 20. The pattern looks like it's in a good spot. I think I'm gonna leave it at 20. We're gonna go back to 50 and just check it and see how it looks at 50. All right, guys, we got everything moved back to 50. Got everything set up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot with the number nine TSS and see how this thing patterns and if my optic is dead on at 50. Man, that thing's got some kick to it. It's a pretty good shot. It still looks like it might be a little bit low and slightly left. Hey, sweet chick. Thank you. Don't want me to have it. She's like, no, I'll Come here. Come here, little chicky. What you doing, you sweet thing? What you doing, sweet thing? Let's give that a shot. Let's go check it out. So I adjusted it slightly more to the right and slightly up. And I put that true lock choke back in it. It's a 585 constriction. So we'll see if that patterned any better. Just from what I can see from here, it does look a little better. Let me try cleaning my barrel real quick and see if that makes a difference on the pattern. I'll be back out here in a minute. All right, so the gun is empty, just so everybody knows. Move my sight up just slightly because I feel like I've been low. Number nines, clean barrel, true lock choke, 50 yards. That looks like it's it right there. That's a dead even pattern, pretty close central of the target and that's plenty of pellets right in that bird's head for a kill shot at 50 yards 
All right, guys, so it's been a couple days since I actually shot the original video for this of patterning this gun. In that video, I kind of ran out of time, but I ended up going back to the factory full running the TSS number nines from Apex. And that gave me the best pattern out to 50 yards. I really like to keep my shots in closer than that, but with this gun, it gives me an option going out to probably around 55 yards i would feel comfortable shooting a turkey with this setup comment down below guys with what your setup is in your benelli m2 as far as what shell are you running what choke tube you're running what combination are you running this season and what have you had good luck with in the past i hear a lot about the sam toy 562s and the indian creek 555s Right now with this factory full, the pattern is plenty dense out to 50 yards. So if you're a guy with a Benelli M2 and you're wanting to shoot out to around 50 yards, if you're fine with that and you're shooting TSS, then there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to shoot your factory full and kill turkeys all day long. So like I say, guys, comment down below. Thank you for watching. Remember to live your life to the fullest. Use your passions to bless others. Please like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next video.